what are you doing about it beyond your own pursuit? You, you, you empathise now with other people. Well, absolutely. I mean, with a figure like 35,000 people going missing every year and the AFP say that 12 people are directly affected with each of those 35,000 people, that's over 400,000 Australians who have at least at one time gone through this ambiguity. We keep it surprisingly quiet, don't, don't we? Don't we just? Uh, it's not it's, good enough. It's, new, it's news to me. Exactly. It's, it's shocking that mm. these figures exist and the public aren't aware of them. Um, and that's what I'm trying to change now. I mean, Dan's case has really, I think, for many people, put it into the spotlight. Others that have been going through this for a number of years even um, have come across our story and contacted me and asked me for advice on how to go about setting up a, you know, a Facebook campaign or how to go about dealing with media. And, and so about a year ago, I, I realised that this was getting to be so much bigger than just Dan, that I need to help others going through this. Or with how, do, how do people connect to your organisation? This is all very early days. Um, I've just had it registered. Um, it's called the Missing Persons Advocacy Network, MPAN. And I, the two components really are about creating awareness for missing persons in Australia. So getting um, partnerships, corporate partnerships with supermarkets and ideally Australia Post. I mean, imagine if every mm. single post office in this country had a poster in their window. That's not harming anyone. And I have no doubt that people would be found if that was the case, if the public were allowed to actually see the faces. And, and no, then that's also, a very strange policy, I think. Isn't it? Imagine, I just, I wish for just one moment Someone in a real position of power could be in the position of not knowing where their loved one was. You have the talent, the drive, the determination and the technical skill to do this. Well, I hope so. I mean... So even if you don't find your brother, you might well help other people find their missing people. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, this... Another part of what MPAN is trying to do is, like I said, help families practically and so there's a website that I've written up the content for a long time ago it's just difficult to get a spare couple of hours to do it um, to effectively have a checklist of things that one can do when they find themselves in this very frantic state where you're searching for a missing loved one um, when Dan went missing I asked the Geelong police what should I do where do I begin and they said just do whatever you feel like you need to do so, you know, I spent the first couple of days running around, putting posters up, um, calling hospitals and crisis accommodation, and, and um, it was frantic. And I feel that that time could have been better spent um, doing what I've now learned um, and reaching out to the public for assistance and having the tools like the internet and, you know, explaining to the public how to go about writing a media release, who to send a media release to, how to structure a, an A4 poster, what text to use, what font to use. You know, these are very basic things that you can't think of That's when you're in that state of mind. That the average person. Exactly. And so having downloadable templates on a website is going to save a huge amount of time, stress and energy, which will, I believe, actually result in finding people. You are admirable and you're strong, but do you ever have moments of weakness? Absolutely, yeah. I, every, every time I... <sighs> step back and think of Dan as a person and not just this campaign. And when I miss him... And photo albums must be just I, I don't minutes. really... Yeah. Yeah. Pictures that have been used for media. I don't see him as my little brother anymore. I see it like that's just work. It's my work now. Dan Come Home is my work. It's my whole life. But if I can help other people. Well, that's right, because although this hurts, you know better than most that you're not Robinson Crusoe. Yeah. Yeah, all we can do is get it out there. And what I want MPAN to achieve is really enabling families of missing loved ones to implore the public because that's what we need to rely on people power it's not going to be police doing patrols and just 
coincidentally passing someone that they recognise from an AFP missing persons poster from the 90s. It's going to be the public who are aware and have their finger on the pulse who go, that's that guy that I've seen a campaign for on Facebook. You know, that's that picture that I saw on Instagram the other day. And that's what the police really should have been doing this years ago. Well, good on you because you're not letting events take control here. Mm. You're you can't. taking control. Mm. And one day you'll find him. Yeah, can't wait. You're going to hit him when he comes back? Oh, yeah, you betcha. <laughs> Slap him and then hug him and then kick him and then kiss him and everything. Good luck. Thank you.